What's up guys and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode we finished the very first area. Now we're gonna be moving on to this second area. Um, well, no, this isn't it. Uh, I gotta go here. All right, then let's go. <laughs> Shut up, Bentley, let's just drive. It had been a while since I'd been back in the US. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper in! Sunset? Snake Eyes. <laughs> so very cool. Then let's go. What are we waiting for? We're gonna make it back to the States? Here we are. Looks like we're in like Western United States. Pretty cool indeed. And Pug Gambling Trophy. All right, then let's not miss any of these notes or these clues right off the bat. That's the thing. I have no idea how good of a job we'll be doing in getting all the clues this time around, but we're gonna try our best. You can see that the coins are different. That's actually for each every area, the coins are different. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah, do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To landeth safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> That's the literal translation, don't be so stuffy. All right, so yep, we can just sort of be sneaky like this, you can see. Now we got these dog enemies, which are really cool. These are one of my favorite areas. It could be a tough one. Still one of my favorite areas, though. I don't just get to slam down on that fool. Still enemies only take one shot, though. That's okay, because we only take one shot as well. And I love that exchange in this game. It just, I feel like it makes for a well-balanced, interesting kind of, like, combat scenario. There, getting a few easy clues. We got 40 clues to collect right here in this open area alone. So that might be a little tough, but we're up to the challenge, or at least I am, as long as you guys are. All right, hmm. And let's uh, take care of this little pooch. Boom, gotcha. Just had to sort of sneak behind him. Now, what is the right way to go? The best darn eggs, the best darn eggs. No, thank you, I don't want any eggs. So this looks like a way to go. And then there's another way to go off this way. Then let's check this way out first, because it looks like this is probably more likely to be the dead end. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a dead end, but there's our 10 out of 40 clues so far, one fourth of the way there, friends. All right, getting all this. Good stuff, good stuff. Hop up here, yes, okay. Huh, now what in the world am I looking at here? This is odd, um, who? Okay, we did it. <laughs> Awesome, all right then, so there was a little detour. I don't mind it because we got ourselves some much needed collectibles. Hmm, looks like there's nothing else to do but go up. And luckily, like, the platforming is so solid in this game, it just works out so long. No, puppy, don't fall off the cliff. Oh, whoa, hi, speaking of puppies, why are there actual dogs and then like, you know, like dogs on leashes and then like actual standing anthropomorphic dogs? That doesn't really make too much sense. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. 
All right, so why wouldn't they just have them on all the time? Maybe they didn't pay the electricity bill, or maybe they just didn't pay it all the way, so they get them, like, alternating. I don't know. It's the dumbest thing I've ever said. Okay, um, let's hop down here, then. And then let's see, let's, like, what's behind here? Anything? Not looking like it, okay. Let's get started with moving, and luckily this part's super duper easy. Got this guy over here, though. Oh, he's swinging! I'm not letting you get, get around with that. That's dangerous, man. Hmm. So there we go, we broke 20, we're more than halfway there. Pretty good, pretty good. Good start here for this nice new area. I love this area so much, there's a lot of fun. All right, uh-oh, look at this guy with his throwing cards, right? <laughs> oh, he's a Dalmatian too, which is pretty cool. Reminds me, there used to be a 101 Dalmatians PlayStation 1 game. Like, I had the demo of it, and me and my sisters would play it all the time. That is until the demo just stopped working, which was a common thing for me in my childhood. Just discs were not taken care of very well, and neither was Sly, I'm sorry. All right, taking care of these pooches this time. Not letting that happen twice. We're almost at our 100 coin mark here. Can we get behind there? Doesn't look like it. I don't know, weird. Hmm. We're almost at the 100 coin mark, so hopefully some things will become a little bit easier here. Dive through there. Dive through here. Oh, look at that, a free horseshoe just chilling here, but we gotta be careful, the car's falling. Yikes. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, bye. <laughs> There's our other horseshoe, so now we got a golden one hanging out here. And then let's take care of this. 28 out of 40. We're getting there. Uh oh, now two of them. That's okay. I got them both. That was close, though. We didn't miss anything, right? Not looking like it so far. The bone house, oh my. Okay, keep going, keep going. Jump. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, get him. Oh no, no, he knocked me off and everything. Yikes, I'm glad that doesn't count for two horseshoes, or that would sort of stink. Uh, hmm. Let's keep going. This is a little scary here. Like, these are not safe working conditions. Oh, come on. Oh, gotcha. All right. Like, what are we even in right now? We were sort of like in a subway train. I guess we sort of still are. Oh, this is super weird. Okay, going across here. Diving through that, because I just don't want to end up dealing with the consequences of falling. Can we climb down this? We cannot. Hmm. This guy's gonna shoot at me, but I'll take him out. Ooh, that was actually really close there. And I don't think we got them all. 33 out of 40 right now. We're definitely missing a few. I have no clue then. Okay, we ended up missing five of them. That's a lot to miss. I have no idea where they could have been. Darn, not a good start for this new area. Ah, oh, well, we tried. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick up the key, though, and see what we can find with this. What's behind that big door? I am not so sure. Let's find out together, shall we? Oh. Oh, my. So, do we start over with uh, zero keys, right? Yeah, we do. All right, then. Into the new area, then. Maybe we'll find those vials some other time. All right, we're in mugshots turf now. We're gonna have to be careful. Now, in these hub areas, there usually isn't any uh, clues to find, though, so I think we'll be okay for now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. And I love this area, because it's just so menacing. Long shot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Oh my. All right, then it looks like we need three keys. We'll make what we can of that. Hmm. All right, then let's keep going. We got these guys over here. Uh-oh. This guy's all locked and loaded. Oh, jeez. Come on. Get over there quick. And then take him out. Nice. Okay. Um, hmm. Then, okay, there's a level over there. Ooh, that's a loud noise. Um, oh, and I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, then yeah, we need more keys. I realize this. I didn't want to go over there and try to do that. So let's try to find some levels here, and we can do at least, oh, I didn't even see him. Don't you be howling at me. Oh, get out of here, punk. All right, let's go ahead and find a level. It looks like there was one over here. So we'll do this one because it's the easiest access one we have available to us. So let's go ahead and go into the boneyard. Now, I remember this one quite well. So hopefully that helps me find all the clues, but knowing me, probably not. Um, hmm, but we can try to destroy some stuff. Most of the stuff oddly seems indestructible. We'll just get out of here. Nice hmm. job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun-toting dogs hunting like a pack. 
I mean, that that sort of makes sense, but okay. Hey, hey, okay, now they're all after me. This ain't good. Ooh, okay, going for one, taking out two. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's cool how they'll all come after you, though. It's intense, but it's totally worth it. But there's another one. Didn't know there was more coming. All right, let's really quickly look around here. Get an idea of what's happening. It's telling me there's no clues around here at all, which I have a hard time believing. But hey, maybe I'm just using this in a bad position. Like, there's some over here, though. I guess it really doesn't pick up on them sometimes. Like, why don't you see them? Maybe that's only for the first area. Maybe that I unlocked it in the first area, it only works for that area. That would totally make sense. I'm gonna assume that that's the problem. Okay, hmm. Then let's see, let's beat up all this stuff. Of course, we're not gonna find any clues in it, but we're gonna find some progress being made in it. All right, I'm now super worried I'm gonna miss everything, and it's totally possible. Um, I can't get up here, actually, like this. I can't do that, okay. Well, that just means one extra place where I won't be missing out on secrets. So that's good. <laughs> What's with his tiny legs? <laughs> that is just so silly. Okay, let's make our way across here. Shouldn't be too bad. Once it starts flashing, just jump across. And we're doing good, and we're doing good. So yeah, at this point, I wanna sort of get a little more lax when it t comes to taking care of some of these, uh, Secrets, but uh, oh boy, this is a little scary here. Oh, they know I'm here, they hear me. <laughs> Let me go and get these two clues, and then I'm gonna dive or not. Okay, I wanted to dive there, didn't really work out for me, but hey, I took care of both of them pretty darn easily. So, hey, at the end of the day, it works out, and we're almost at our 100 coins, so we should be able to pretty easily here get the rest of them. And we still do have the magnet now, right? So, hopefully, that helps. Hmm. Come on, get it all, get it all. All right, I was checking to see if maybe the like magnet is a part of our like rotation, like we can't have dive as long as we have the magnet, but it seems to be working, it's just not the biggest magnet in the world. Hmm, what's going on here? Like we can climb up some of this stuff? It's really hard to see from this angle. Uh, okay, I thought there might have been something over there. I remember this level, like this level is very memorable, <laughs> but also it's sort of a little weird. Okay, ah, okay, he didn't see me, he didn't see me. Here. Boom, what? Why didn't that work? <laughs> Defeating the whole purpose of the dive move, it doesn't work in those kind of situations. All right, but I do see some clues up here. We have to find 40 of them again. This is really where the game steps up with that. What is this? I don't even know. Um, just like a spinning dog house. You know what I want in the middle of my, my, my casino? A spinning dog house for no reason. Doesn't do anything, it just spins. <laughs> Reminds me of home. All right, uh, that seems to be about it. There's one over here. I see ya, I see ya. All right, so we're pretty good right now. We got we got ourselves a uh, golden uh, horseshoe and everything. So, and we're halfway to another one. Oh my, so this is where things can get a little interesting. So we got a lot of, uh, whoa, and he has a big flashlight. That, oh, my, oh no, okay, so I'm caught now. Oh darn, that was a little wonky, but hey, we're out of here now. Hmm, did I miss any? Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> Try to take it slow, because I want to be able to get them if I can, but chances are I won't be able to. This is like that first area that we missed out on, like that has broken my clue-finding confidence that I had going on, the CFC. Clue-finding confidence. I don't know if, the, I, I probably won't use that abbreviation very often, but uh, let's jump across. Oh, I know these. Like, are these for decor? Because obviously nobody's playing on these. I don't know why they're so ridiculously big. I feel like that's just sort of a disadvantage to anybody who wants to play. All right, uh, hmm. Let's go across here and get a big old vault just like that. 31 out of 40 is pretty good. I just don't think they took a good, really good care of this place. I mean, look at it, it's all flooded in and everything. That ain't no good. Hmm, should be fine though. Be able to slam dunk on that. And then now we're at 86. We're getting there, we're getting there. Little bits at a time, oh my. Do not want this to dip into the water though. Now we just climb up. Hmm. So the, the levels are most definitely a lot longer too. Like, area two really brings out the stops compared to area one. Like, Frogger's level, just like, it wasn't too big of a sweat at all, but now things have gotten really serious, so. Hmm. I think the difficulty as well will start getting harder and harder. So far we've been doing pretty good this episode, but I can see that changing pretty soon. All right, go across here. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> And as you can see, as I say that, it's getting pretty wild with all these lasers and everything. 
Hmm. And there's the Vaunt. We need at least three more. So here's two here, 38 and 39. It would really be a bummer. Okay, there you go. If I lost just one, but there you go. There is 40. So let's go and open this bad boy. To enter the vault code. Man, I'm getting swift with deciphering these codes. Dial 338. Okay. I'm glad you're being swift. I'm on the schedule here. I need you to hurry up. Okay, what's this one gonna be? We're 24% in the game. Episode five and we're 24%, that sounds pretty good to me. Hmm. Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. So this can be pretty helpful. I'm guessing when, uh, you know, we have enemies that ha sort of have like a pace line and we can sneak up behind them, throw the hat, but it doesn't really go out very far. But then, boom. Okay, that was not really very dramatic. Well, I guess um, it isn't for them, us to manually explode. It's for them to, uh, what's it called? The wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. All right, I did land on it there for a moment, but the game didn't really like that I did. There you go. Oh, so I just gotta keep doing that over and over again. Ah, I see. That was the problem. All right, come on, come on. There you go, and there we go, we did it, cool. There's yet another level done. And there's our third key, no, that's just our second key. Very awesome. So there we go, some good progress made in today's episode. We made our way to a new area, got to the hub of it, and of course then uh, took out the first level. So I think we're gonna continue on in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievish Raccoonus. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Dog so you know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.